Hello and welcome to the news update on NT International. My name is Justin Bemui. The federal government is facilitating an investment worth $1 billion in an agricultural mechanization program. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Abubakar Kiari, says the idea is to create enabling environments for investors under the Greener Hope National Productivity and Large Scale Mechanization Support Program. The U.S. dollar facility for private sector financing. A 20% upfront counterpart fund of $200 million and the related incentives and support. Now the second session of the African Union Agenda 2063 Ambassadorial Assembly has been inaugurated in Abuja with a challenge to work with AU organs in fast-tracking the match towards the 2063 target. The inauguration of members of the AU Agenda 2063 Ambassadorial Assembly effectively operationalized the group charged with the responsibility of helping to educate and align the goals of the agenda in their respective countries. This is expected to bring life into the framework implementation of the various aspects of the agenda, especially in education, technology and economic cooperation. Now, former U.S. President Barack Obama has endorsed his fellow Democrat Kamala Harris' bid for the White House, delivering a major boost to her campaign to beat Donald Trump in November's presidential election. Earlier this week, Michelle and I called our friend Kamala Harris. We told her we think she'll make a fantastic president of the United States and that she has our full support, Obama said on social media platform X. The influential former leader was one of the last Democratic heavy hitters to offer his endorsement, with Harris having already received the backing of President Joe Biden on Sunday to take his place on the ballot. Obama's backing will add to the growing momentum behind Harris' campaign, which has enjoyed a groundswell of support. And thousands of people lined the streets of Hanoi this Friday to pay their final respects to Communist Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Throng, the most powerful leader Vietnam has seen in decades. The 80-year-old who died in a hospital in the capital last week led the party since 2011 and oversaw a high-profile anti-corruption drive that swept through the party, please and forces and business. Residents waved as the convoy drove past on its way to My Ditch Cemetery, the final resting place for many senior leaders in Vietnam, and said, Long live Uncle Guyen Piu Trong. Children and war veterans were among those waiting in 37 degrees Celsius heat holding portraits of the leader. But those are the news trending at this hour. Thanks for your time. My name is Justin Bermunin.